The allure of making easy money with a faceless YouTube channel is hard to resist. Countless videos promise quick success, but what if you start a channel, you upload some videos, and you never achieve the results that you're looking for? In my experience, this can be due to two main factors. Either the topic lacks interest, or the videos themselves fail to captivate viewers. So in this video, I'm going to take you through exactly what it takes to create successful faceless YouTube videos from scratch. I'll share how to find an in-demand topic that can perform well not only immediately, but also long term. Additionally, we'll cover the process of creating an engaging video script, a voiceover, video graphics, and compelling titles and thumbnails. To discover video topic ideas with evergreen potential, I rely on Keyword Explorer from TubeBuddy. This tool provides real-time feedback on the topics within any niche, including the level of interest and the search traffic compared to the competitiveness and the number of videos that are uploaded currently on the subject. So for example, if you type in AI tools, you can see that this is not a topic that you'd want to try and create a video around because this keyword is tough to rank for. There's an okay amount of search volume for it, but there's tons of people creating videos on it. But if you try something that's a little bit more of a longer tail keyword on the same exact topic, like artificial intelligence video generator, for example, you can see that there's a much more rankable keyword opportunity to go after in this. And so you might want to create a video specifically targeting this keyword phrase. And to give you two more examples around the same rough topic, if you were to type in artificial intelligence will take over the world, you'll see that there's not a big opportunity for this either. But if you try artificial intelligence will kill us instead, you'll find that it's a much better keyword to target and it has a lot of potential. So this is how I like to approach finding evergreen video topics within my niche. That way I can make videos that won't just get some initial views and then fizzle out. Remember, the goal of a faceless channel is passive income right? So let's go after videos that will rank long term and get better over time. Now that we got our video topic and we'll go with the artificial intelligence will kill us topic, it's now time to move on to create the video script. You can either write this yourself if you enjoy it, right? Or you can outsource this to a script writer and you can find quality script writers for super cheap on Fiverr. I used to take this approach. Or you can just use ChatGPT to write it for you. So let's take this into ChatGPT to generate our script. I'll tell ChatGPT to assume the identity of my YouTube script writer and this is the prompt I typically give it. You're now my YouTube script writer, write me a five minute video script that I can read on and then insert what it is. In this case, it would be artificial intelligence is killing us all. And then I'll ask it to explain or speculate on why this could or might happen in the future. It's important to keep in mind that you want to give it specific instructions on what you want to do, because if you want it to explain something about your topics or how or why, then you need to tell it that. I've also found that five minutes is a good sweet spot for scripts, because if you go into hire a voiceover artist or someone to create the video graphics after that, it can get expensive if you're creating longer videos over and over and over again, trust me. Plus five Five minutes seems to be a good length for viewers on YouTube too. It's long enough that it can accumulate some watch time, but it's not that long that it will discourage people away from clicking. But play around with different lengths if you'd like to. This is just what works for me. Now that we've come up with the first draft of the script, we need to proofread it and edit it a bit. Don't just take the first version that ChatGPT pumps out for you, because often it'll have a strange format, almost like it's reading a movie script, and you'll definitely want to adjust the initial hook of the video too. It doesn't always come up with the best first few sentences of a video, which is the most important part part of any video. So keep that in mind and alter it accordingly. You never want to waste the viewer's time with like the welcome to the channels or the don't forget to subscribe. So delete those things out of your script because almost always it puts them in there. And you can even take the intro back into ChatGPT with a different prompt if you want to improve it. So for example, let's tell ChatGPT, can you come up with a captivating and fear-based hook for this video in the first few sentences that is going to get people to want to watch? And if you do that, you can see that it comes back with a much better intro that we can use. So it pumped out, in a world where machines learn faster than humans, where artificial minds might hold the keys to our future, there's one question that we all grapple with. Will artificial intelligence be the dawn of a new era or the twilight of humanity? Will our greatest creation become our ultimate undoing? Today, we're diving deep into the chilling possibilities of the future where AI might lead to our extinction. That's a pretty freaking good one. And anyone watching this or anyone hearing that will almost have to watch more to find out the answers to those questions. And so now this is what our final script looks like, which took maybe one to two minutes to generate using ChatGPT. And it's pretty good if I must say so myself. Now, the next step would be to get a voiceover. You can obviously do this yourself or you can hire someone to do it for you too. There are tons of people on Fiverr that will do a quality job for only $5, depending obviously on how long your script is, which ties back into the five minutes that I 
I suggested before. I wouldn't recommend going the AI voiceover or the text to speech route with this because trust me, people connect with people and your videos will do much better if you have a human voiceover. Plus nobody really 100% sure knows if YouTube is going to monetize channels that have AI voiceover because the argument is that ultimately it's a bad experience for the viewer. And even if they did let you do that right now, who's to say that won't change in the future when YouTube potentially becomes oversaturated with all these AI generated content pieces. So after you have the voiceover done, you can then move on to the video graphics. Now there's a few different approaches that can work well for this. So you can hire somebody on Fiverr again to do a whiteboard animation. For some topics, these can actually do really well and they can be really captivating. And this is honestly one of the cheapest routes that you can go while still maintaining video quality if you find somebody good. You could also test a bunch of different faceless channel editors on sites like Fiverr and Upwork. There are a ton of them, but you might have to kiss a bunch of frogs before you find your prints. Now, I must have tested about 20 different people before I found one that actually did a decent job and didn't charge me an arm and a leg. And then I brought him on full time directly. So it's about testing different people and finding somebody who does a good job at a good price. A lot of them will either use motion graphics, stock video and B-roll or a combination of both. But the best ones will be able to make the flow of the edit more entertaining. This is more of an art than a science though. And a great example of a video that I saw recently on this was this video right here. If you watch this video, this editor told a story and he created a captivating video to watch without ever showing his face. If you can message this video link to editors and ask if they can do some of these things, or if they can reverse engineer how to edit similarly to this, then you're probably going to be on the right track. The last thing that you want to do after putting all this work into creating a high quality video is skimp on the thumbnail and skimp on the title. These are arguably more important than the video itself, because if nobody ever clicks on your video, it really doesn't matter how good it is. It'll never get any views. So make sure you're spending effort on these and don't just go with like a Canva template and stock images or you're never going to get clicks. If you do want to create thumbnails yourself, then I'd recommend taking a Photoshop class on somewhere like Udemy or Skillshare where it's very, very cheap and then see what's working for other creators in your niche that are already uploading videos on this stuff and try to replicate exactly what they're doing with your own spin on it. Or you could outsource this too. I still outsource all my thumbnails to a great freelancer on Fiverr. You also want to make sure that you use the keyword that you found in the beginning in your title of the video too. That's going to help you rank for the video and get evergreen views. So then head over to chat GPT again and ask it to come up with five to 10 title variations that include that specific keyword that's going to be intriguing and get the viewer to click. Then pick the best one or pick a combination of the best ones. And I found that shorter video titles seem to work better because people first and foremost aren't going to see the long title. It often gets cut off. I think 80 characters, I believe, but don't quote me on that. And they also won't spend a lot of time reading the title as well, because just like your thumbnail, your title needs to intrigue them enough so they want to click, but it also needs to communicate exactly what the video is about in the shortest time period possible. So that's the exact formula to creating a high quality YouTube video for your faceless channel from scratch. If you did everything yourself combined with a little bit of AI tools, you could probably do this completely free. It would just cost you your time. And if you outsourced everything, it costs you anywhere from like $100 to $200 or maybe even a little higher, at least in my experience. But for most people, it won't be anywhere close to that. It'll probably be somewhere around 10 to $30 because you'll be doing a lot of this yourself with the help of AI and outsourcing some of it too. It also goes without saying that most channels won't be able to upload one video and blow up or even 10 videos and blow up realistically. You want to focus on producing high quality videos around the same topic consistently. And then as you build up a collection of videos like that, your channel's chance to blow up and get monetized really grows because then at that point, every new video is a chance to reach a new viewer for the first time. And if they like that video, then that basically gets your channel in audition. Often that viewer, assuming they liked your video, of course, will click onto your channel and check out the other videos that you have. And if you don't have any other high quality videos, then they'll just leave and forget about you. But if you do, then they might watch a few more, they might subscribe. So obviously there's a higher likelihood that they get shown your next videos too. And really the way that channels explode is by getting tons of viewer binge sessions like we're covering now, but you can't get Get those unless you have a large pool of high quality videos in the same niche. So that's everything I've learned about the process of creating high quality faceless videos after monetizing two channels now. I really hope it helps.